Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 5th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about an ongoing heat wave that is affecting large portions of the Northern Hemisphere uh, that many media sources are now calling a global heat wave. And this graphic, graphic that we're looking at now is a, com, uh, is a composite graphic from Climate Reanalyzer and the Daily Mail, which is identifying certain local hotspots among many. Um, just going to add as a caveat that this particular graphic and these particular hotspots are, are just a few notable high temperature records. We're going to look at NOAA's global summary of high temperature records in a short period of time. But among the highlights was a recent uh, all-time all record high temperature at Denver of 105 degrees Fahrenheit or over 40 degrees Celsius, a record high temperature in Pakistan of 122.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 50.2 degrees Celsius and notable record high temperatures in England approaching 90 degrees in, in, in Glasgow, Scotland. Um, Castleburg at 86.2 degrees Fahrenheit in Belfast, Ireland at 85.1 degrees Fahrenheit and in Motherwell in the central United Kingdom at 91.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So these temperatures are extraordinarily high for the Northern Hemisphere. And as a result, we are seeing uh, a number of, of heat stresses. In the most extreme instance, a heat wave in Quebec has been as of today, blamed for 33 deaths, heat-related deaths among primarily uh, middle-aged to older men who, who appear to be uh, less acclimated for the heat or, or just less able to, to deal with high temperatures and high humidity presently spreading over Quebec. Um, but uh, this is just, just one instance in a phenomenon that is stretching across the Northern Hemisphere. Now, I'm going to take a look at present climate reanalyzer uh, estimates for, uh, I'm sorry, pres present climate reanalyzer uh, measures and forecasts for global temperatures. This is a GFS model that is showing forecast global temperatures starting at the now hour and moving on through the 10 day period. And where you see white is primarily temperatures that are near 100 degrees Fahrenheit or above, stretching potentially to a high, as high as 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the upper 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius range. And I'm gonna go ahead and just advance this for you so you can see where these uh, extreme temperatures are occurring, even in the, the nighttime. So throughout much of Asia, Africa, parts of the United States, very extreme uh, temperatures predicted to occur over the coming days as part of an, an ongoing temperature spike in the Northern Hemisphere. It's notable that, that the Eastern heat in the US here is predicted to, to back off a bit and, and settle back in toward the West. But note these very warm temperatures up in the near polar zone, up in northern Canada, northern Alaska, uh, central to northern Siberia, and the Scandinavian regions in this forecast. These very extreme temperatures for high latitudes. And also it's worth noting that much of the polar region is, is above freezing as well as is somewhat typical for this time of year, but we do see some very abnormally warm temperatures building into the Arctic Ocean in, in some of this forecast. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over to an anomaly-based 
measurement. Now, anomalies describe departures from normal. And where you see the red, you have warmer to orange to red, warmer to much warmer than normal temperatures in the 5 to 15 degrees Celsius above normal range or up to about 20 degrees Celsius above normal in this region of northeastern Siberia. And I'm going to go ahead, ahead and advance this so you can see which regions are expected to see above normal temperatures. So we see above normal temperatures continuing today through Quebec and northeastern U.S., but then starting to fade as above normal temperatures reassert into central and western Canada and the western United States around the Hudson Bay region with also above normal temperatures settling over much of Alaska. In the Middle Eastern region, throughout Asia and uh, North Africa, especially Central Asia, we, we see rather extreme above normal temperatures during the day continuing to reassert. And in addition to some sections over Eastern Greenland into Scandinavia and throughout much of the early to mid-range forecast in eastern Siberia. I'm just going to back this up a little bit so we can note some of the temperature surges predicted to occur here in eastern Siberia. And as we move later into the forecast, this heat appears to shift back toward western Siberia and the Scandinavian countries as heat apparently is predicted to reassert into Quebec on the 10 day time frame. Okay, so I'm gonna also take a look at some of the NOAA measures to, to put this into context. So, so these are global summaries and, and if you're looking at daily record highs and daily record high minimum temperatures, Daily record highs are outpacing daily record lows on a global basis at a four to one rate and daily record minimum high minimum temperatures, which is an example of temperatures that you would typically see at night are more than 10 to one outpacing uh, daily record low minimum temperatures. And in the monthly summary, so these are um, all time month monthly records. Uh, maximum high monthly records are, are at 12 to 1 versus maximum low monthly records and at 10 to 1 versus high minimum to, to low minimum temperatures. Now, a number of all-time record highs have been set over the past week. Eight record high maximum temperatures across the globe and 13 record high minimum temperatures across the globe versus zero record low maximum temperatures and zero record low minimum temperatures. Now, this, these record high temperatures are occurring in the context of human caused climate change. And so what we are seeing is, is extreme heating in the Northern hemisphere during summertime as overall global temperatures are on average about one degree Celsius or one degree centigrade above normal, and that's in an approximate context of the hottest global temperatures we, we've seen in about 115,000 years. So, so these heat waves that are occurring are, are not occurring in a normal climate environment, and, and this climate environment that we're experiencing now is continuing to heat up. And with each 0.1 degrees Celsius of warming, it's, it's going to hit us uh, harder. And it'll seem to be a lot harder with every 0.1 degrees Celsius of additional warming because it's going to keep pushing us out outside of the context that we're used to. But this kind of heat wave is, is what we would expect from human-caused climate change, and we're seeing it now.